Hello everyone, it is Monday, August 2nd, 1225 p.m. Just wanted to give a little bit of an update on my, and so anytime I talk about this, by the way, my videos are going to be titled very generically, so sit rep, um, which stands for situation report, just an FYI. Um, this obviously my videos, if I mention anything about this, get taken down, so we'll see if this one doesn't get taken down, but anyway. Um, wanted to give an update over the weekend. I was having some camera issues, some diabolical interference, which seems to have miraculously resolved itself after I consecrated my cameras to the Blessed Virgin. So thank you, Mama. Um, and ironically, so I was Saturday, I shouldn't so Saturday I was still having a little bit of a timestamp issue, but I seem to have got that figured out. Sundays worked well. Um, and then actually when I was picking up my camera this morning, early in the morning, and I was leaving the neighborhood, I noticed a snake that was quite literally crushed to death in the middle of the road like that had got ran over by a car and I was cracking up I was like oh how ironic <laughs> but anyway um if you didn't watch that video go back and watch it because I I talk about this consecration prayer written by Father Ripberger that um you can consecrate your exterior goods to the Blessed Virgin so I consecrated my surveillance equipment to her because I was having some interference so I'm not crazy, see? Um, people think I'm nuts. I'm not nuts. It is, it's it's very real. The battle is very real. So to then I was, all right, so that's that. And that's not what this video is about. Moving on from that, I was doing some stuff around the house. So I had some major tech, speaking of technology, I was having major technology problems going back to the beginning of last week or the week before. Um, which required me to upgrade my technological equipment. So I switched actually everything over to Apple. So I'm still trying to figure out how to use Apple. Um, but it's just the Mac computers are, there's no comparison to them for what I have to do for work as far as uploading videos and things like that. Um, and then I was also having phone issues and I was due for an upgrade. And every time the system updated itself, it was wiping stuff out. So I ended up getting an Apple iPhone as well. And because it's new, they're sending me messages, tips, they call them, on how to set up. So um, 11.45 or so today, I got one, one tip. Um, this is the first time I've seen this one. Learn how to set up medical ID with important health information. And it's probably backwards, but just so you know, I'm not making it up. And so I'm like, medical ID, that sounds something like something I want to avoid. Um, so I click on it and it says that you can see your medical records on your iPhone. Connect to your health provider so you always have access to lab results, medications, and more. Tap browse, then add account. Now, the VA a while back First of all, this, this has been in place for, they've been working on this for decades. I have an, a family member who worked for years for a very high up, she was very, very, very high up in a insurance company, a nationwide, one of the big insurance companies that was responsible for rolling out all of this healthcare, electronic healthcare stuff. All, you know, making the systems and transferring everything into elect you know all the medical records electronically and creating the system so that everybody can share with each other electronically and things like that so and especially they worked with the VA because the VA was one of the first to have this um so we have healthy vet and all this stuff and even back then I'm like that sounds like a terrible idea because what if hackers hack into it and now have access to everybody's health care like that sounds horrible like why would we do that but whatever for convenience, obviously, is how it was rolled out, but it's not for convenience. It's for control, and it's for exactly the situation that we find ourselves in now. So we go over to this. I just Google Apple Healthcare, and first of all, like I need my phone to take pictures, upload videos, make a phone call, and maybe a, a text message and some basic stuff. I don't need my phone to be my medical records. Like that's crazy to me. So it says this, empower your patients with healthcare records on iPhone. The health app makes it easier than ever for users to visualize and securely store their health records. Now your patients can aggregate their health records from multiple institutions alongside their patient generated data, creating a more holistic view of their health. So what does this mean? 
It means your phone can track your sleeping patterns. It can track a whole bunch of other stuff, especially with these Fitbits and Apple watches. It can tap into your blood pressure and your pulse and all this stuff. But we're not going to stop there. Now we're going to have your allergies, your, your vitals, your conditions. And then here we have it right here. Immunizations. And obviously I can't say everything I want to say or they're going to take my video down. But I just find it really ironic that, well, I'll just leave it. So now your immunizations can be pulled up on your phone. So all those people out there talking about, well, I'm just going to forge this and that. You're not going to forge anything because it's all going to be hooked up to your phone. So the conversation that you really need to be having is alternative healthcare systems. I'm talking chiropractors. I'm talking holistic medicine, herbalists. Yeah, that's what I'm talking. I'm talking like the best bet at this point is to stay healthy, to, is to get in shape, stop eating crap and get on an exercise routine. That's what I'm talking about. I'm talking about there's going to come a time when people like me are not going to be able to participate in society, let alone the healthcare system. And why am I saying that? Because here we are. VA requires experimental medical experiments for healthcare workers. The Department of Veterans Affairs on Monday became the first federal agency to require healthcare workers to get experimental medical interventions as the aggressive variant spreads across the nation and some communities report troubling increases in hospitalizations among the ones who have not been experimented on. The VA's move came on a day when nearly 60 leading medical and healthcare organizations issued a call for healthcare facilities to require their workers to get experimented on. No federal law stands in the way of employers requiring, you guessed it. But like mask mandates, the issue has been politi political, politicized sorry, in a society that's divided on matters of public health. No, some of us don't want to participate in the Frankenstein lab experiments. Some of us don't want to give our money or get injected with an industry who kills babies and buys baby parts to make their Franken Frankenstein medical experimentation. It has nothing to do with politics. I don't particularly care about politics. So where am I going with this? Well, I'm going to try to say this as calmly as possible. The days of Catholics having a hierarchy that's going to support medical exemptions because of issues like this are over. Thank you, Pope Francis. Now, before people start calling him the false prophet and things like that, I do want to say this. The only way we are going to know if he's the false prophet is if he gets rid of the Eucharist. That's what the false prophet is going to do to pave the way for the Antichrist. The Antichrist is not going to come into power with the sacrifice of the mass still going on, it's going to be impossible. Padre Pio even said, it would be easier for the world to exist without the sun than it would without the mass. Sun is sun in the sky, S-U-N, than without the mass. So in order for the Antichrist to come to full power, the sacrifice of the mass will be done away with completely. There will be no Eucharist, Eucharistic celebration, sacrifice, whatever you want to call it, that has to be gone. So until Pope Francis does that, I'm not saying he's the false prophet. What I am saying is he paved the way for this great apostasy and he seems to be the leader of it. Okay, so now we have faithful Catholics who are concerned about this freak show that's going on for a lot of reasons. I'm concerned for a lot of reasons, morally and physically, and um, even not physically, even what implications this has on a, a societal freedom level, right, you know, a, a rights level. Um, so we don't have a medical exemption anymore because he got it and is pushing it and all the bishops seem to be promoting it. Even the so-called conservative bishops that will speak out against abortion, like the bishop up in, I think it's Rhode Island, who denied Joe Biden communion or said he shouldn't receive communion because of abortion, but then promotes the vaccine in the same sentence. Like, okay, I don't know if you're just brainwashed by CNN and ignorant or 
if you just don't want to make problems, I, I don't know what you are, but these bishops are something else, okay? They need to wake up and stop watching CNN and get off Facebook and find some real information, peer-reviewed studies. I mean, it, should, it shouldn't even have to come to that because as soon as you learn that it was derived from research, from stem cells, from aborted babies, then that should have been the end of the discussion and they should have demanded that another one be made that didn't do that, okay? But that's not what they did because they just want their money from PPP and all this stuff and blah, blah, blah. And I'm not interested in even getting into any of that right now. But what I am saying is if there ever was going to be a great apostasy, this is it. The martyrdom and the persecution that we're going to face is not going to be like in the beginning of the church. It's not going to be necessarily a red martyrdom. Why? Because that doesn't work. It's not going to be priests getting dragged out of churches and shot in the head, although that might happen, especially considering everything's being burned down right now. Um, but on by the government or by the powers that be, the elites, they're not going to do that because why? That creates more faithful Catholics. That's why. Um, and, those, and Satan doesn't particularly like that route because those priests then become martyrs and go straight to heaven for doing God's will. You can't have souls go to heaven. So what he wants to do he wants people to choose to apostatize. That's what he wants. And die in a state of mortal sin so souls go to hell. Satan's not stupid. His demons, I mean, they are, but they're not. I mean, if you, if you have any understanding that has been given to you from God, you can see through this. But they don't necessarily want an all-out red martyrdom persecution. That's not what they want. So the persecution is going to be from within and from without, and it's going to be banishing faithful Catholics from that refuse to be experimented on from society. You can already see it. it's all over CNN. You know, they're saying if you don't get this and you shouldn't be able to go to the grocery store, your kids shouldn't be able to go to school. Some of them are saying you shouldn't even be able to have your kids. It's some form of child abuse if you don't get this for your kids and don't get it for yourself. So that's where the persecution, they, Satan wants to make it, and in, in his elite demonic minions want to make it so hard for us to function in society that we become so desperate and so hungry and so um, discouraged and our morale is so beaten down that we finally just agree to get it. That's the apostasy. You want to talk about the mark of the beast? The mark of the beast People always want to talk about it being a microchip or a physical uh, thing. And maybe that's true. I, I don't know. But what I do know is it's also spiritual. We are all marked either by God or by Satan. And I'm telling you right now, if you get this, I don't know how you could possibly be marked by God. I don't know. And I don't have the right to judge anyone. And I'll leave that up to, to the Lord. All I know is what he has told me. And he has told me straight up, no child of mine will get this after I was distraught over it. And I'm like, I all everyone I know, except maybe two people, everyone else I know has gotten this. I have one relative who is getting open heart surgery in a couple weeks and her cancer returned after within a month of getting it. Coincidence, I'm sure, right? Um, I know another person went blind. I know another person who couldn't move her legs. I don't know if she can move them now. I have no idea. Um, but that, and they, like, I don't, I don't know what to say about it. But the great apostasy is here. I can tell you that. And it's not, it, it's a falling away from the church spiritually, morally, doctrinally. It's not necessarily physical falling away, although that's happening. But I can sit in mass and be totally surrounded by people who have gotten this and call themselves Catholics and receive the body of Christ. I My parish has had free uh, clinics for this on multiple occasions, but in the same sentence will pray against abortion and has a, a memorial headstone, literally, of, for it says, for all aborted babies. Now, somebody needs to explain this to me because I don't understand how that makes any sense and how that's not hypocritical. The great apostasy is here, and pretty soon it's going to look like this. It's going to look like Israel's passports. That's exactly what it's going to look like. 
They are usually, these passports are usually accessed via an app on your phone or in some cases paper versions are available. Now in my case, what I just showed you on my phone, brand new phone, there is no app needed. It's directly built into the phone. This is something that's built into the phone. See medical records on iPhone, there's a category for it. So you're not even gonna need an app. Health, welcome to, to the new health app, but it's something that comes with the phone. It's not something I downloaded. You can see highlights from your data, articles, suggestions, and alerts, get better understanding of your data and how it's changing. I can track my menstrual cycle. That's creepy, a little creepy, I'm sorry. Like it's, it's unbelievable at this point. It's unbelievable that so many people are, are going along with it. And I'm telling you, this is the apostasy because pretty soon it's going to be show me your phone or upload your, your QR, let me scan your QR code to have access to medical facilities, to have access to churches. Why do you think Pope Francis has just banned the traditional Latin mass from parishes and has banned parishes from being traditional? No more traditional Latin mass parishes. Those are out of the question now. Why do you think he did that? Because those are the ones who aren't going along with this. That's why. It's not the 70, typical 70 year old Novus Ordo attendee at my church anyway that's going, that's resisting this. It's my generation. It's the traditional minded generation. A, a traditional minded people of all generations, but especially the younger generation who isn't buying this which I don't know how, it has had to be a grace of God because we were all brainwashed. I mean, I guess some of us, I do know a lot of people my age that are getting this, but the people that are standing out and invisibly speaking out about this is, I, from what I see, 30s, 40s. Um, but the great apostasy is here. The ape of the church, the rise of the anti-church, isn't, they're using our churches. They're using our infrastructure because that's what Satan does. That's what the Masonic plan was. It was to infiltrate and use the existing inf infrastructure to take down the church and spread errors. So the great apostasy is just this. I don't see how you can get this and not apostatize from the faith. I don't see how it's a possibility. The two cannot be, I don't know. Maybe I'm way off, maybe I'm a fanatic, but all I know is they're pushing awfully hard and they're making it awfully easy for everybody to get this. And you have to ask yourself why with a virus of a 99% survival rate. So anyway, um, the answer is alternative systems, especially healthcare, chiropractors, holistic practitioners. Obviously it's not the same um, and I have, I have hope that enough good doctors out there are going to wake up to this and see what this is and going to start their own practices to be able to help the people that are going to be ostracized from society. Because at the end of the day, those doctors still took an oath and a lot of them will hold to it. I believe that. As far as churches are concerned, well, that's going to come down to the parish priests, not even the bishops. The bishops can't enforce, I mean, they can say stuff, but they can't enforce making sure everybody's papers are checked at the door. It's going to come down to the parish priest. So if you don't know, you know, get a feel, get a feel for the different parishes in your area. You know, stick, if you can stick to your parish, do that. I don't, you know, I still go to my parish, even whatever. Um, but I do know that there's a couple priests in the area that are probably not going to be checking papers at the door. Why do I know that? Because they didn't require masks. That's how. The mask was the litmus test. Um, and one of them even went as far as to say, do not approach the Holy Eucharist, the body of Jesus, with a mask on your face. It's disrespectful. So those are the people you have to seek out so that you can begin to, to realize, like, when, when this comes down and I can't attend mass and I can't go to confession, maybe this priest will help me out maybe he'll understand and help me out. Um, and it's going to have to be like that for everything. Farmers markets instead of grocery stores. Like comfort 
like we, we we are so attached to our comfort and I've talked about this over and over again we have to detach from comfort start making yourself uncomfortable because when it comes down to it that's the plan to push you to your limits and if you've never been uncomfortable your limit is going to be very low and start begging the Lord for strength and faith not to bow down to this because this is demonic it is diabolical from the core so virgin most powerful pray for us Joan of Arc media out